Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2011. So here are we with this problem 7 and this problem 7 is a vector calculus problem of your paper. Right. So let us have a look. So it says let f vector. Okay, so we have a three dimensional vector and C be the positively oriented closed curve given by this x square plus y square is equal to 1, z is equal to 0. Now it is given to you that f dot dr is nothing else, it's pi. Okay, that, is, that means the line integral of this is pi, then we have to evaluate the value of a. So now let us proceed. Okay, so firstly we need to understand the path on which we have to travel right so now let us draw a system so firstly try to see this thing that why i am drawing this uh this two dimensional system because in in your question it is given to you that z is zero so we don't need a third dimension are you getting my point to draw my path two dimension thing is enough okay so now let us say this axis is x, this one is y. So now let us draw a circle of radius what? Radius 1. So let us say this is a circle of radius 1. So x square plus y square is equal to 1. So just change its color. Okay. So let us change the color. Uh, keep it um, yellow okay so see this is your circle on which you have to travel and uh, you have to travel the complete path okay let us say you start from here and start traveling on it then you have to complete it over here okay you got my point so now let us try to integrate so what we have we have a closed path and we have to integrate this thing now it's given to you that it's pi so what is f dot dr what is dr vector dr vector is what i'm going to write it's dx i plus dy j plus dz k right so just product these two things let us say this is i okay so i is equal to pi just dot product these two things what you will end up with you will end up with this thing a y dx plus z dy plus uh, okay x dz right and where are you you are on the circle now on the circle you have z always zero right z is always zero on your circle that means dz will also be zero so this integral actually reduces to zero not integral sorry this part of integrand reduces to zero because z is zero as well as dz is zero so this will be zero so your i think will be just a y dx and we have to still put a limit on it okay we don't know what it is so what you have you have a circle on which you are traveling so for a circle of radius one just use this substitution x is equal to cos theta y is equal to sine theta right so i'm not using r over here because r is one in this case and you're working on a single integral so i is equal to a okay what is uh, y sine theta and what is dx it's minus sine theta d theta right so you will get a sine square theta minus a sine square theta okay and now see what from where you are moving you are moving from here to here that means you are completing one round so that means you are traveling from 0 to 2 pi so now it's a single integral thing you know we can you can evaluate sine integral so okay sine square theta integral so after evaluating you will end up with this minus one 
okay so this is your answer so this is how we can solve this problem so that means a is correct b is incorrect c is incorrect d is incorrect right so thank you